Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I haven't posted in the past few months. I've just been super busy with school and also working on myself and my future career, which I will be talking about. And today I'll be updating you guys on my life, what's been going on, what have I been doing, where I have been. Um, and there's a lot, there's a lot to talk to you guys about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you guys with me throughout the whole day and I'm just gonna give you my whole life update and what I'll be talking about in this vlog is my junior year as an industrial engineering major so far I'll be talking about trying to get an internship and finally getting an internship at Starbucks over the summer which is super exciting and I'll talk to you guys about the whole process and everything and then I'll also be talking about this one last thing that I just found out a few days ago that I'll be studying abroad in Paris which will be so exciting. I've never been in Europe in my life. So this would be really, really fun for me. Um, but yeah, I'll be talking about my study abroad in Paris, which will be happening next fall. Um, and also on top of that, I started a podcast with my boyfriend, Corbin, which you guys should definitely check out. We talk about advice towards college students, high school students, or just everyone in our age range. The very first episode, we talk about your mentality and how to gain confidence, independence, self-care, which is super, super important, and you need to make sure that you have. And in the future videos, we're just gonna be talking about college-related things or 21-year-old related things, like applying for internships. Um, I could talk about my study abroad. All of those things will unfold in the podcast and the podcast name is Mastering Adulting. You can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere. You can find it everywhere on all major platforms. So yeah, I will be talking about all of those. But before I start talking about them, we are going to head to Pike's Place because Corbin needs to go to Beecher's to get some cheese because he started a YouTube channel, a cooking YouTube channel, where he picks a random country around the world and then he cooks a dish from that country. So without further ado, let's go to Pike's Place. Bye. Before I leave, I just want to show you guys my outfit. So I'm basically just wearing some black pants, a Levi's jacket, a white hoodie, white shoes, and I just put my hair up because I got lazy, and then some Tory Burch earrings. But yeah, very casual today because we're going to be walking outside and it's going to be cold. But yeah, that's it for today. Let's go to Pike's Place. So we are back home. I am in front of my desk because I just finished a meeting with my friends. We finished working on a project that we needed to turn in. So 
we got that done and yeah anyway let's let's get right on to it and before we talk about that yes i changed my jacket the other one was too warm so i i just changed it when i got home and also excuse my skin um it's been really bad lately because probably because of all the stress from school but it's okay it, it's slightly getting better but honestly we just need to normalize textured skin you know not everyone is perfect not everyone has perfect skin we as the older generation this feels weird to say because i still feel 10 years old at heart but i think we as the older generation really need to show that to the younger generation because all they see are you know filters or people on the internet who have had things done and i mean nothing against that or anything you can have your face done or you can have whatever done it's totally up to you but we also need to be honest to them so the younger generation doesn't think that that's all natural and that's how they should look like but yeah we really just need to normalize not being perfect and not having perfect skin because i really do think that affects the younger generation and just everyone in general i think it really does affect their mental health i really do think that we just need to normalize not being perfect because literally no one is perfect but anyway that's a little off topic let's get back on topic <laughs> and before i talk about any of this before i start talking about my internship offers about study abroad which i'm super excited for um about my podcast all of that i just want to say that i'm not trying to brag whatsoever and that this is in no way a competition and should not be a competition to any of you you know me having these things me accomplishing these things doesn't make me any better or any worse than you because honestly we're all going through different journeys we've all had different experiences we're all going through our own struggles we're all headed towards different directions in life so please 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 don't compare yourself to me don't compare your journey to mine because we're all different and we all have to be aware of that i think that's another thing that destroys the mental health of generations nowadays is how competitive everything is and it really does suck but you know in order to protect your mental health you just have to constantly remind yourself that we're all going on different journeys and all headed towards different things in life so don't compare yourself to others and don't try to compete with other people. If you want to do something for yourself, do it for yourself and yourself only and not because you're trying to be better than one person or someone else. So yeah, if you want a little more of that, if you want me to talk more about self-care, mental health, even independence and confidence, check out the very first episode of the podcast that Corbin and I started called Mastering Adulting. The very first episode is called Reinventing Your Life and there we talk about the mentality that you should have and you should attain as a young adult so don't forget to go listen to the very first episode and thank you to the 200 people who have listened to it um and don't forget to follow the podcast so you don't miss any future episodes but yeah enough of that let's get on to talking about my internship search so i started applying for internships over the fall and it was super super busy because in the fall I took five classes, which took up most of my time. And on top of that, I also had to apply for different internships. And I was able to get to the interview stage of some of them. I, w I got to the interview stage for Best Buy, which is my very first one. Wait, I need water. Okay, I'm back. I just got water because I got dehydrated. But anyway, I interviewed for Best Buy, interviewed for T-Mobile, um amazon pepsico i interviewed for so many positions and i just kept getting rejected which made me so disappointed and so sad because i've applied to over a hundred internships but i was still getting nowhere you know so i was like well, what, what is wrong do i just suck at interviewing and towards the end of the fall quarter i was super super disappointed but i did not lose hope towards the beginning of winter quarter i got an email from amazon and starbucks for Amazon, it was the operations finance rotational program internship. And then for Starbucks, it was for the process and equipment engineering co-op. And I heard back from both of them saying that they want to interview me. So I was like, okay, well, let's go do this interview. And I prepared extra this time. What I did was I had a whole document with all the questions 
that I think they might ask me and then I type out all my answers there just so I'm prepared. And then towards the bottom of that page, I had a list of questions that I knew I wanted to ask the person interviewing me. And then lastly, this is the one thing that I changed and did not do in previous interviews. Lastly, I made a little intro of myself and everything that I want to say about me. So I introduced my name, my major, classes that relate to the position, my extracurricular activities that do relate to the position. Um, I also mentioned the business that I started, Empress the Label. Towards the end, I mentioned what I do in my free time. And then I also mentioned why I want this internship and why I think I'm the right person to hire for this internship. So that is what I did differently compared to other interviews. So. If you want to use a tip, go ahead. It definitely helped me and I think it will help you because it definitely got across all the things that I wanted to say during the interview. So yeah, I interviewed for those two positions and then I got the offer, which was super, super amazing. And I also really want to thank everyone who helped me get the internship, um, everyone that I've networked with to be able to get past even that application round. I want to thank all of you guys and I also really want to thank my friends, my ISC group who have definitely motivated me and supported me along the way. You guys, I love you guys. You have no clue. But anyway, off topic. Anyway, um, yeah, I got the offers, which is super exciting. They both offered me a pretty competitive salary, which I was pretty surprised about. Starbucks was just slightly higher, so that definitely affected my decision, but it definitely wasn't the main reason why I chose Starbucks. So why I chose Starbucks is mainly because I really, really enjoyed talking to my interviewers. I enjoyed talking to everyone that I've connected with who works at Starbucks, and I really do think that my personality fits Starbucks the most between the two companies, so I really do think I would enjoy my time there the most. Also, I'll be working at the Trier Center, which is the center of innovation at the Starbucks headquarters, which is super exciting to me because I've always been really into entrepreneurship and I really do think that I could bring that interest to the Trier Center along with everything that I learned in my major because I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of what I'm learning right now in one of my classes called design of experiments. I'm definitely going to be using that a lot during the internship or co-op. That's what it's called. It's a co-op, not an internship. But yeah, so I chose Starbucks, obviously, <laughs> and I'm really, really grateful for everyone, for my family, for my friends, my mentor, everyone that I've networked with. I'm really grateful for them because they definitely played a factor to where I am today and what I have accomplished today. It really wasn't all me. So yeah, thank you guys so much. And that's basically it for the internship. Let me know if you guys want me to do a more in-depth video about the whole internship process, the application process, just the whole search in general because I really do think I could give some pretty good tips, especially when creating your resume or just networking or literally any of that. I really do think that'll all help if you're trying to find an internship. So let me know if you want that and I will make a video on that. My internship starts the week right after school ends. So the week right after finals week of spring quarter and then it will last until September 3rd, which is a whole month right before my study abroad starts. And speaking of study abroad, I will be studying abroad in Paris, which I am super, super excited about. The study abroad program that I'm going to be taking is called CHID Paris, Art, Literature, and the Avant-Garde in the City of Light. So yeah, it's a UW program and we're going to be taking classes in, let me check. So I'll be taking Surrealist Paris drawing and the art of seeing and I'll be taking Anglo-American expatriate writers in Paris. So yeah, a lot of art, a lot of literature and I'm super excited about it because every week I believe we're gonna have a field trip to the many many museums across Paris which excites me because I love museums you guys. I have always enjoyed going to museums as a kid. My parents always took me to museums and I don't know, I just love them and I love art. If you knew me before college, you know that I have always enjoyed art. Um, I've always enjoyed creating art. I just haven't been able to do it in so long because ever since I got in college, I got so busy. 
And I was like, yeah, you know, this program is perfect for me because this way I can get back in touch with art because we would, one, be going to different museums, art museums, and two, we're also going to be having an art class. I will be drawing the things that I see across Paris. So that will, that will be so fun for me and I'm really, really excited. The world is so big and I really do think it has so much more to offer me. So I'm really just trying to live it up and try to experience living different lives. Well, not necessarily different lives, just living in different places because I'll never know what I really truly enjoy until I try it and and yeah that's the mindset that I'm trying to instill in myself so this program is four days a week we'll have classes four days a week in the American church in Paris I believe and then during our three-day weekends I am planning to go out and travel to the nearby countries and cities near France um, I was actually planning to study abroad in Rome last spring break but that got canceled because of COVID. So this time I'll actually be able to visit Rome from Paris. And that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of money. But I'm planning to save up the money that I will earn during my internship or my co-op and then use that for my study abroad and all the things that I wanna buy in Paris and all the places that I wanna visit near Paris. I am planning to just spend it there, save it up and then spend it. <laughs> but It'll be fun, it'll definitely be such great experiences, something that I've always wanted to experience, and yeah, I, I can't wait, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically all I've been up to. I've just been super busy trying to get an internship, trying to get into study abroad, and on top of that, the five classes that I took during the fall, and then these three super hard STEM classes that I'm taking this winter. Um, just trying to balance that all out has definitely been tough, but something that has definitely helped me was taking care of myself mentally. I think it really did help me throughout everything. I would get burnt out pretty often, but I knew when I was burnt out and I knew when I needed to take a break and when I needed to just take care of myself physically and mentally. So I think you guys should practice that as well. I think that will definitely protect your inner peace and your happiness and i know this sounds cheesy but it's so so true i'm also starting to get into these self-help books but let me show you guys i'll be back okay i'm back with my little with my little stack of self-help books um they're very very inspirational definitely check them out i haven't read them all yet but i've heard so many good things about all of them so yeah first book I got was The Art of Nonconformity, and I heard this from Damon Dominique's list of books that you should read. You should definitely check out that video. I love that video. I want every single book on that video, and I also love Damon Dominique. He's such a cool guy. He's an American YouTuber living in Paris, and I just, I just love him. I love his videos. He's probably one of my favorite YouTubers at the moment, and his videos also make me really excited to move to Paris for a few months. So yeah. This is the first book. This is the second book that you should check out. And this is also the book that I'm currently reading. It's called You Are a Badass. How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. It's really, I love this book. It almost feels like an older sister just giving me advice because it's super casual, super informal. So it's such an easy read, honestly, and also has really good content. So go buy this, please. And this I have not started. The rest of these I have not started, just the first two. Um, yeah, and then this one, I've heard many good things about this. I see this all over TikTok too. Apparently it's a really good book for 20 year olds or 20 something year olds. So yeah, it's called Tiny Beautiful Things, Advice on Love and Life from Dear Sugar. And yeah, I heard this is really good. I'm excited to start that one. And then I have Outliers, The Story of Success by Malcolm Gladwell. And it's about different stories of success, obviously, about different people who are successful and the factors that do play in, into them being successful. And I, I think it's really important to learn. And yeah, I suck at giving summaries, so just check it out. Just search it up and read the summary. But yeah, and then this book especially, I've heard many, many good things about it. It's called The Power of Now. 
And I also heard that this is super important to read and super good to read. So check them all out if you guys want to learn more about that kind of stuff. So yeah, that is what I've what I have been up to lately. And I guess that basically just ends my video. I also want to thank everyone who have supported me, supported my YouTube channel, supported my podcast, supported my business, and just supported me and my life in general. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to my friends, to my family, Corbin, literally everyone. I'm so, so, so grateful for everyone in my life. And I really don't know what I would do without you guys. So yeah, thank you to all of you. And if you want more in-depth videos about the process of getting an internship or studying abroad or classes at UW, literally anything, just let me know and I'll make a video on it. Just put it down in the comment section down below and I will get to it as soon as I can. I'm a bit busy, but after this finals week, I should be okay. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you again to everyone. I really do appreciate you all. If you like this video, don't forget to leave this a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It definitely will help me out. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I know I'm a bit far from that, but that's my goal for the end of the year. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video and feel free to message me whenever you, you guys can literally DM me whenever you guys are my friends at this point. So my DMs are always open. You guys know what my Instagram is. I always put it in the description box. So message me whenever. I, I'm, I'm a nice person, I swear. So if you need anyone to talk to, just reach out to me. And thank you to everyone who have already reached out. It's, it's been super nice talking to people who have watched my videos. It's super, super cool. Um, I'm sorry if I haven't responded to you yet. I'm kind of sucky at responding at the moment, but only because I'm busy. So yeah, I will get back to you soon and thank you again for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!